Welcome to Get Roaring. I am Rory. Fancy meeting you here. It's time for some more NHL franchise mode with the, the Stanley Cup champion Moncton Lions. And NHL 21, thanks for joining us. Me, you, us, the team. The guy who cleans the bathrooms. The guy who cleans the bathrooms is important. I got my coffee. Got my team. I got a bunch of trophies in a case. Time to do some draft interviews. Let's see what we're working with. On the draft board. Technical term, by the way. We have. In the second round, we have the second. Or sorry, the fifth, the 11th, the 26th, and the 32nd. And then we have three picks starting the mid uh, third round. So this is a draft where we got to make some uh, got to make some choices later on in the round, or right later on in the draft after the first round, to see if we can pick players that will mean something. Now the first player we got to pick is going to be in this range here. Probably about 37. There. Let's see what's available. Right off, there's a. Not good. Jay Weber like player, defensive defenseman. B, a couple B, B minuses, a bunch of C's. Rated top four. Foot speed is an issue. You know, Corbett. Interesting. That, that's a pretty good looking goalie. E competition, though. No information on this Wayne Janes. Wayne Janes. Oh. Okay. Left wing, possibly a sniper, possibly two years away, a bunch of A's and B's. Maxim Kondrachev. Or Aiden McLeod. I think we take a look at Kondrachev here. This looks like right in the wheelhouse. So let's get more information on Kondrachev. Player info again. I think it's playstyle for one. Playstyle, ETA, and strengths that the usual the usual three in other words play style sniper right will you be ready on the cusp one year that's always a good sign might have a good pick at the start of the second round here Check skills. Strengths. Give him a shot. Okay. Sniper with a good shot. Makes sense. So their skating isn't their primary, but... Sounds like it could be a player. Well, I know they're a player, but... You know what I mean. Could be something special. Scouts have them rated at 35. I think we take a take a chance. So there's our first one. The second one is 11. So we're looking at uh, six picks down from that, about 43. That's where Prohorkin is. Now, do we want to go with that or take a look elsewhere? Is there anybody that's Uriel Westgarth? Right defense, six foot three. Caught D competition though. Could be Zdeno Chara esque. Those are literally big shoes to fill. Probably used that joke before, but that's true. 
Is there anything else? Now, 55. Trucking later around here. I want to look at that anyway. Nothing's blowing me away there, but 55, 55 we're talking about uh, 13th, so, oh wait, 20, 23rd, that round, so that's a later, oh wait, math, okay, 55, 32, yeah, so that's later in the round, if we look at our draft board, Yeah, that's closer to. We have to. We might have to bump up or bump down this pick. It'd be more apt to bump one up, or maybe bump a couple up. I don't think we'd be able to get into the first round. Depends if there's something really useful at the end of the first round. But we don't know. Fortunately, we don't know much. Chris didn't go goal. Or Google. Drachev still looks like well, but even the numbers are not. This this goaltender is also interesting. Not that I need a goaltender, but I mean, if he's good enough, you could deal him. Kaigorodov is our guy. Sergeyev looks interesting, but the foot speed is terrible. He plus competition, though. We know they're a power forward, and we know they're three years away. Skating bothers me. There's a lot of David Backus esque players in this draft. So, those are the players I'm kind of interested in. I don't see anybody like late, late here. Well, this is down to 14. I don't even know if we could get up there without doing some serious trading. All right, with that for the second round. The third round we have later stuff. And we can always move around if we find something of interest. Player's pretty good for a power forward, six foot three, 18 years old. Looks okay for uh, a late, for like a, that's a late second, maybe? for anybody that's kind of stands out. Team Sergeyev. Defensive defenseman 19. E plus competition. Mobility and quickness is not good. Physical and all the rest of them, but they're slow. Enforcer. Semi intrigued by this player. Left defense, six foot two, seventeen years old. All right, let's do an interview. Mark him first. Let's see how this goes.
Stay at home? Okay, defensive defenseman. At least a few years away, so four. Okay, so it's a project. Let's talk about your strengths. Skating! Hmm. I can deal with skating. Interesting. Oh, Gavin Moore. And of course we get bumped right up to the top. Let's go back to 86. Oh, seventh defensive medium. Oh boy. Doesn't look as good upon further review. And they said skating was their best skill. Ugh. It's worrisome. That means that A plus A minus is probably not true. So let's jettison that for now. Okay, we're gonna go with uh, taking a look from potential. Let's just uh, go to draft interviews. A load up a potential. There. That's uh, Kondrachev, okay. Sergeyev, two. Slow power forward, I don't know. Bully. Competition levels E. Aiden Toms. rank 10 okay let's go down a little bit oh no it's Corbett cook at 66 center Possibly a sniper, C minus competition, three years away? Three years away is not bad for the early third round. There. Dwyer. Oh, that's okay for a, like, uh, seventh round goaltender. Potentially. Cesar Denny. They didn't get no. Could be something where it's 63 now. No. Speed and mobility, no. Zarkov, that's too low. Let's go back up to here. Del Nystrom, yeah. Instead. No, foot speed is not good. Got. Hmm. D level comp, uh, foot speed and injury prone. I was gonna say that's not too bad for like a 200 and something, but skating, skating and mobility. Tony Schwartz, number okay, ninth overall. It's Pro Horkin. Oh man, nothing's knocking my socks off in this draft. Brendan Rome. Six foot five right defense. Okay, that's kind of interesting for 96. I think we have to take a look at that. Marshall Versi.
Foot speed, no. Foot speed. Team utilization. Six foot four, two way defenseman, A competition. 71, skating is D though. It's 33. T is Otteson. 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 65. Black size. Uh, can't skate. Help. Chichu, no. Seven. Trade up for somebody we don't know much about. Unless, well, it's kind of obvious that they should be traded up for. Especially in the first round. If it's like a fourth round or something to trade up for, sure. Sea level competition. Let's go play center, 17 years old. 10. Down to 23. I am not floored by this draft. Spitaglia, 176. Uh, skating mobility. No, maybe. Drew Quint. C level competition. Be a project. Be not terrible for 111. Lucas Outlaw. Grinder. Yeah, but skating foot speed, no problems. Ah, oh, boy. Maxim Sergeyev, that was 87. Maybe. Defensive defenseman, the skating, the quickness is a problem, the quickness is a mobile. Yeah. Uh, the other statistics are A plus competition, though. Or late third round, I will mark them. Just in case, I don't know. Still on the fence about that one. Here we go. Lane Hillman. D competition, 912. Could be something. 173, we'll take a take a flyer on that one. Anything else that stands out? An acceleration, Boris Kalinin. Oh, okay. Weakness is foot speed, but acceleration is acceleration and quickness or strengths. Sniper, five years. Let's check. Something interesting going on here. So. Play style? Okay, two way forward. A little bit like five years. A lot of learning and growing. Yep, five plus years. So, definitely a project at 19. But, let's see what their skills are. Strengths? Skating? 
It's gating. Interesting. Okay. So that's that's a super project, but that's like a seventh round pick. So interested in that one. Oh, I don't even know where they were. Just check the pins. There we go, Kalinan. Also is injury prone, but again, it's a fifth round pick or seventh round pick, sorry. So we'll just leave it be. If we if we get there, we get there. If we don't, we don't. Seventh round picks, not too worried about. All right, let's get down to where we were. Remember Funk. Then again, I wasn't looking at names the whole time, so remember Chichu there. Mark anybody below this? Oh, okay. Quint. Yep. Might have been down here somewhere. Sir Guy F. Hillman. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's continue on from here. 61. Skating is a weakness, no? Speed skating, skating. A plus competition. C minus in skating. Six foot two left defense, two way defenseman. Heavy slap shot mobility and passing ability. Okay. That might be something. I know they probably aren't very high, but it's also a 150 draft pick, so. That it's 11th overall. Okay, never mind. It's offensive. Are they 188? Okay, it could be something. Could be something. That's a weird looking player. Game will just mark them. Elite speed. That could be interesting. Forty one. Weakness is none. C minus competition. D's maybe. Marking. I don't know if we'll have any. skills and stuff from here on in, so. What happened? What happened? Oh, that's 25, okay. Let's go ahead a little bit. Sixty four, Norina. Black size, injury prone strength. Not blown away by the composure. Composure? Composition? Here. Good. Skating, not good. Seth. Quickness is a problem. Okay. Agility, injury prone. Left wing. A competition. Forward and weakness is none. Magic hands. Interesting. Mark uh, Gratchev there. Be something. Uh, speed.
Still nothing like nothing that's blown me away. Going. No. No, skating is a problem. I think we're running we're running low on uh, statistical chances here. So let's do the usual. Let's see the huge. Let's see if there's anybody just big. So cloud is huge. Build is a problem though. Caden Fenton. Be something. Foot speed though. Foot be foot speed and skating. Like 21 minutes plus one, four goals, four assists. Spent 95. Put Fenton on there just because. Could always make a decision at the time. Alright. Well, that is it for the draft interviews. Let's advance a day. Now, here's what we need to do here head at the training block. Uh, what do we need? Wants us to trade for a second line forward, a third line checking forward, and a depth forward. Well, you know what? We're always going to be interested in first and second. Maybe just first this year. Well, I don't know. If we want to move around. Next year, we'll do uh, first, seconds, and thirds. Not so sure about this stuff. Plus, like, 17 to 50, that's a pretty wide range. Uh, surplus. Yeah, that makes sense. That also makes sense. It's fine. And then let's do um, any any goalie with their potential that's like... So that would be franchise elite. Starter. Starter low. Don't have a first pick this year, but you know, get one. Now, let's take a look at our lineup. So next year we have Labelle and Parise, number one and two. Lundstrom, what's Lundstrom doing? Contract. Sort by overall. I think we I think we put Lundstrom on the block. I don't know if we trade him, but we put him on the block. Uh wingers were okay. Sort by over. Yes, happy with that. So happy with that. Defense. Oh, we're fine there too. Contracts are okay. Well, Addison is doable. Yeah, Addison, he's got an extension though. Then we have Vineyard and Gillies for another three years. Uh, Hamilton, I don't know. Let's see. We have these three. I'd like to have those three going. We have four defensemen that we could have in our bottom. Our four, five, uh, three, four, five, and six spots, and seven. So we have plenty of defensemen available for those spots. And goaltenders. I mean, any of these guys trade away, but that's covered in the thing. Okay. Ricky Skaters. Let's sort by age here. I mean... I guess just like it basically just extra players. <laughs> I don't think anybody will take them though. Supis and Liston. Uh 
to start by age. Kernan we want to hold on to, but uh, Filman we can put on there, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Nothing special. The biggest thing would be Lundstrom. So let's take a look at our contracts just for a minute. Yeah, Lundstrom. Lundstrom we extended, so he's got three years. At 5-5. Five five. Sort by overall. So we're sorted by overall, okay. So we don't need to extend any of the big players. The big one will be when LaBelle comes up. Uh, Cole Perfetti. Cole Perfetti, Lang, and Hamilton, and uh, Texier will be up for contracts. So. Not even super sure if we. Because Perfetti is not going to be playing the second. Uh, Hamilton is another baby, depending on where he goes. Lang is good. Textier is good. So Lang and Textier, maybe we see if they want extensions now. 2.7 for two years. Oh, handle that in a minute. Textier? I guess he could handle our third line center position, but... I don't want to do three. So, two years at three one. Three oh three oh seven five. Three mil anyway. Seems reasonable. Uh, and Lang. Also, I'll do one year at what you're asking for. Maybe two. They're not really tradable assets, or at least he isn't. So. Yeah, I can do one at 2 7. Two, five, five. There we go. Those, those seem reasonable. Aslan. And we'll, you know what, we'll get to him in the offseason. But especially in Hamilton, I don't know. And he's he's probably going to decrease. What does he want? Oh, he wants big cash. Okay. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. We're not going to pay Hamilton $7 million. All right. So next time we'll do the draft. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for your time. Hope you have a good one. Appreciate every minute you spend with me. Please check the descriptions for all the socials and all that business, and I will talk to you next time. Yourself a good one.